Hello everyone, let's take a look at this amazing online tool called StackBit. And what StackBit does, it allows developers of any level to build their own Jamstack website. So we're going to go through it and if you're already here, you probably already know what Jamstack is. Before we get started, or if you want to try using StackBit yourself, there are a few things you need to be prepared for. One, you need to have a GitHub account. And two, you need to have a Netlify account also. All right, here we are at the StackBit.com website. And we're going to try and go through this and build a Jamstack site right now. But let's take a look at the website. First of all, you know, you have to choose a theme and they have many themes already available. As you can see. And they give you teasers of uh, new teams that are coming down the pike. Okay. Then you need to select a site generator, static site generator. And what they offer are three of the most popular generators, Jekyll, Hugo, and Gatsby. And they give you teasers of other site generators that are coming soon. And if you want one that you don't see here, you can request that they develop for it in the future. Let's take a look at what you do next. The third step is you need to select a CMS, a headless CMS of your choice. And there are many headless CMS choices for you from Forestry, Netify, Contentful, Data, CMS, Sanity. And you can do this layer, no CMS, or you can choose request uh, CMS that you don't see for future use. Then what you do after you go through all those steps, you need to deploy what you, all your selections, and you need to have a GitHub account to store your files, and you need Netify to to deploy or push your scripts to the repository for storage. Then the final step is you can view your website. Now let's try and build a Jamstack website using StackBit on their website. Great start. First thing you need to do is select a theme. Next, you have to select a static site generator. We're going to use Gatsby here. Third, you need to select a content management system, and we're going to use Netlify CMS. Now, it takes you to your GitHub account where you need to accept the terms and conditions. And this stack bit is asking permission to access your GitHub. And it's also installing an app on your computer, which would be useful for editing and using StackBit in a fast way. So here I am installing the app. We're connected to GitHub. Now I need to title our project here. I'll just call it StackBit1. There may be others. Okay, everything is set. Create your project. It'll take a little while. As it's also deploying the website. View logs. Okay, I don't think it will show anything because it's in deployment mode at the time.
Okay, now we're authorizing stack bit to connect to Netlify, and there we are. Everything is a success. Now we can view the site. I mean, this was done in literally minutes without even writing one line of code. That's an amazing. Now I had paused the video and then restarted it because it did take of quite a few minutes to for final deployment. Success, that's what you want to see. So that's the view the website and that's the exact same theme that I had selected. And there's the app in the upper right hand corner. The stack bit app. And this is out of the box theme. I have not done one ounce of editing yet. Now with this app, you can go to Netlify project for editing, and you can, or you can go to your GitHub repository straight from one click. Once you have successfully deployed and activated your Jamstack website through Stackbit, you will receive this email first from Natlify, welcoming you and showing you what account you have. Here I have the free version. You will then receive a second email, which is you've been invited to join Stack. This one, this is the title of the uh, Jamstack website we just created at via net, netlify.com. So once you receive this email, you can click on it and finalize your account via Stackbit. Just for curiosity purposes, let's try and see website speed test for this Jamstack website. Now this is straight out of the box. No tweaking at all. So we'll be using two sources. Kingdom.com and GTmetrics.com Now the results is going to be different because both resources use a different criteria to measure the website speed test. Of course one of the things it also makes a difference, I have not written, shown in here, is uh, location of the server that the test is taking place from. So that will also make a difference. But in any case, uh, quickly, Kingdom uses an unload time where all looks at all resources have finished downloading and gives us results. While GT Metrics measures the fully loaded time. In other words, this event fires when the page is completely stopped loading its content. So you will see a difference in the different uh, times, but in either case, this Jamstack website should be very fast. Now let's test this website using Pingdom test site. All right, paste in the URL. Let's try the West Coast, San Francisco location for our first test. Then we're gonna try the East Coast and see if, if there are any differences and most likely there will be. Okay, load time was 349 milliseconds. Page size seven, 27 kilobytes. Okay, let's change the location to East Coast. Um, let's pick Washington, D.C. Start the test and see if there's any change. They should be similar, but not exact. Okay, it's still running. 
There we go. Low time, 463 milliseconds. Just a, a little slower, but still very fast low time. Now let's switch to another website speed test using GT metrics. And we're just going to do one test from the Dallas, Texas location. Paste the URL, hit test. Wait a few moments and let's see what we have. Now remember, GT Metrics uses a different algorithm to determine the load time from Pingdom. Now there we go, 1.2 seconds. So that's out of the box. That's uh, pretty good. Okay, once your website has been deployed, you may be wondering how do I change the content? Well, log into your StackBit account, go to your dashboard, and hit edit the Netlify CMS, which I'm using here. This is your login page for the Net Netlify CMS. So let's log in. And here we are in the CMS dashboard. Let's look at the home page. Now here's our home page where you can change your title, the content, all what you need to do. So that's how you do your editing. And for each CMS, it will be slightly different, but basically the same way. So in conclusion, if you really want to know what Jamstack is all about, this is the best way, a simple and quick way to go through the process and actually build a Jamstack website. Now, remember that this stack bit site is still in beta. So we're not sure what is coming down the pike, but I am sure there will be many more new features and ideas incorporated into the StackBit website to build Jamstack websites. It's free. You have nothing to lose. It's simple and easy to use. So go ahead and give it a try, a test drive. Links to any of the Resources used in this website will be shown in the description below. So thank you for watching.